Iridium Asset 2021 was three times more expensive than gold, yet this rare and precious metal is used as an electrode in premium spark plugs because of its longevity compared to copper spark plugs. However, because only a tiny amount is used in the electrode because of its cost, manufacturers usually advise not to clean or even attempt to gap Iridium or Platinum spark plugs. Today I'll be showing one of the easiest and best ways to safely clean spark plugs, especially these Iridium or Platinum ones, without damaging these precious electrodes. I'll be using this Vipcock ultrasonic cleaner and believe it or not I actually went through three different cleaning solutions. The first one that I thought would actually do the best job failed woefully. We'll get to know more about this when we get into the video. Now let's get this. Under normal circumstances spark plugs do not need to be cleaned. That said, under certain circumstances, spark plugs can accumulate deposits and become foul. Basically, any condition that distorts the air fuel ratio would lead to increased deposits on spark plugs. This will include a dirty air filter, a lazy map, MAF, or O2 sensors, and so on and so forth. In these circumstances, cleaning out these formed deposits can help improve gas mileage, reduce or eliminate misfires if present, and optimize the combustion process. However, it's important to state that you should rectify the issue responsible for fouling the spark plugs because if not the deposits will continue to form. I'm using this mini ultrasound cleaner from Vipcorp. The manufacturer doesn't specifically say it cleans automotive parts but yeah the principle of ultrasonic cleaning is the same. I first started by using valve clean from Liquid Molly which has built a reputation for dissolving carbon. However after three rounds of five minute cleaning cycles it became quite clear that there was nothing happening. The product had failed woefully. In all fairness the manufacturer never recommended it for use with an ultrasonic cleaner. Also the the fact that it was causing large bubbles wasn't a good sign either. Ultrasonic cleaning relies on the generation of really tiny bubbles that form in the liquid and explode on impact with dirt. It's these mini explosions of the bubbles when they collide with dirt that brings about the cleaning effect of ultrasound. Liquid Molly was clearly not the right cleaning media here. Following the instructions on the product manual, I then decided to try water with some engine degreaser. Early results were quite encouraging. As you can see here, there's good ultrasonic vibration and deposits seem to be coming off the spark plugs. In summary, after just one cleaning cycle, it had done much better than Liquid Molly. I then decided to try cleaning with straight engine degreaser, since it was water-based and the instructions on the degreaser say to use it without dilution. The results were instant. As you can see, the deposits are just lifting off the spark plug. By just the first cleaning cycle, it was clear I had found a good combination in straight water-based engine degreaser. I ran a couple more five-minute cleaning cycles as recommended in the manual of the ultrasonic cleaner for thorough cleaning jobs. To finish, I rinsed the spark plug in plain water and used electric contact cleaner to just displace the moisture. This is to help prevent any flash rust. Here you can see the gunk that came out of the spark plug and here you can see the before and the after pictures. Even the corona stain on the ceramic part of the spark plug was cleaned. Also to be sure that the engine degreaser was not reaping the cumulative effect of the other previous cleaning solutions, I ran just one cycle using an uncleaned spark plug. The results were pretty marked after just one cleaning cycle. It definitely works. Finally, to prove there was no damage to the electrodes, I did a before and after test of the spark plugs using this all tool device. The spark after the cleaning was in no way diminished. In the end, I learned a valuable lesson. I was really thinking the liquid molly would work since it usually dissolved carbon. But the basic truth was that the structure of the fluid did not give the best chance for generating the much needed cavitations for cleaning. And as I said before, this is not a recommended use by the manufacturer. I thought to show both the failure and success in my experience so you don't have to spend money trying to use liquids that don't work with ultrasonic cleaners. If you have any other suggestions on ultrasonic cleaning fluids or spark plugs, be sure to let let me know in the comments. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace.